You asked, and we delivered. Introducing the Dave Moss Tuning Subscription Channel on YouTube. All of Dave's premium content for one low price. Put one of the best suspension tuners on the planet to work for you. Find the link in the description box below and get started today. Now in regards to geometry and ability, as you get faster, you develop a riding style that is natural to you. You may go get some coaching that either enhances that style or moves you slightly into a different direction in terms of philosophy or in terms of practical skilled output. When that happens, the geometry of the motorcycle may have to change because if you change bikes, the geometry you had in say our MV F3800 is not going to be the same as the geometry in our Yamaha R6 that was turned into a 450. It's apples and grapefruits, they're completely different. So you would start from scratch with geometry. Now, geometry will also change at tracks. So we have a local track here that's extremely fast and requires a lot of chassis stability. So generally the geometry is to have the bike more or less flat. A flat bike will do whatever you want. Then we have a track close by called Sonoma Raceway, which is up and down and around and all over the place and involves massive amounts of braking and turning. Well, for me at that track, I actually have the front end slightly higher than I would because with all that braking force, I don't want the weight transfer to come too far forward and potentially unweight the rear, which is gonna destroy braking stability and ruin my lap times. So I'm making a conscious geometry de decision with fork position based on the nature of that track. As I get faster and my riding style changes and matures more, which it does, it's inevitable, then maybe that isn't gonna work for me anymore. So don't set it once and forget it. Every once in a while, revisit your chassis geometry for swing arm angle and mechanical grip and fork position for turn in. And do you want something different now? If you go from a thousand where you break, you turn it and you fire it out and you go to a 600, you're gonna need something completely different because it's all about corner speed. If you go to a small bike, like a 300 or a 450, corner speed's even more important and geometry needs to be even more precise because your mid-corner load is far heavier and sustained than braking can ever be. So as you change in your ability and get better, and as your riding style matures and develops, bear in mind ge geometry is not a set and forget for any one bike. To schedule a remote tuning appointment for you and your bike with Dave via text, email, Facebook, etc., contact Dave on Facebook or by email, dave at davemostuning.com.